Hi everyone, this is Engineer Homer teaching you math. For today's lesson, I will be discussing solving rational inequality. So rational inequality, just like rational equation, so the main goal is to solve for the values that will satisfy that inequality. Right? So we are looking for the values of x that will satisfy that inequality. Okay, so for that, let's have example number 1, 4x plus 3 all over 2, less than or equal to 1. So, nakita nyo agad, inequality symbol na yung nagamit dyan. So, how to solve for the value of x? First is to look for the LCD. Since rational, so meron kang fraction dito, may denominator. So, what is the LCD here is 2 up. Okay? Now, pag alam na ang LCD, we can now proceed with math to buy. So, we multiply both sides by the LCD. We have here 2. Okay? So, multiply by 4x plus 3 all over 2 less than or equal to 1. And then, multiply the right side also with 2. And then, we can now proceed. Simplify it. So, when we multiply 2 over 2, divide mo to dito. So, this one is answer up. Okay, matitira is 4x plus 3 less than or equal to 2. So, ayan na po. So, afterwards, continue simplifying. So, we can transpose this 3 sa right side. So, what remains here is 4x less than or equal to 2 minus 3. So, continue. 4x less than or equal to 2 minus 3, that is negative 1. So, solve for x, divide both sides by 4. Divide by 4. So, your x is less than or equal to negative 1 4. So, that is your answer. So, this is already a correct answer. Okay? So, this is this can be your answer or you can do yung ating interval notation and then yung ating graph. Okay? Solving this way. Expression your answer by graph. So, uh, sir, now sa kanyang blog is you can also watch that uh, where he discuss about this. Okay? Yung ating graph notation, interval notation and how are you going to do that. So, for this one, I will be having a quick review for that. So, sa ating graph, Pwede mo siyang express ng ganito. Since this is, mag-start tayo sa negative 1 4, And then, right side of the graph is your, pa your positive infinity. Okay? Left side is your negative infinity. So, since included, di ba sabi niya, x is less than or equal to negative 1 4. Therefore, negative 1 4 is included in the solution. So, lalagyan mo siya ng bracket na ganyan. And then you are going to shade this areas going to the negative infinity. Wherein, these values are the values that will satisfy your inequality. Okay? These are the values that will satisfy your inequality. Or also, meron din ginagamit from galing dito sa one port yung ating shaded na circle. So, pwede rin yun. Okay? Or also, this bracket. Sa interval notation naman, you can express your answer by doing this. So, since galing ka sa negative infinity, also mind you guys ha, palagi yung nasa left side, yung smaller. So, galing ka sa negative infinity, yan, ganyan po siya sinusulat, and, parenthesis, pagpunta ka sa negative 1 4. So, ganito lang. Okay po. And then, since included siya, you are going to use bracket. So, this is how you express your answer in interval notation. Or this is read as half closed interval from negative infinity to negative 1 4. Right? So, I hope you understand how I do the example number 1. So, you can go back on this and review kung ano yung steps na ginawa ni sir. For example number 2, I have 5 minus 3x all over 4 less than 1 half. So again, get the LCD. So the LCD is 2. So you write this. 5 minus 3x all over 4 
less than one half. Okay, so you can also do this. Lagyan mo lang ng bracket sa pagmatubay and then yung LCD natin which is 4 is ilagay mo lang sa isang side kung saan dyan. So that means that you are doing matubay sa inyong equation. You can have this or this method. Okay, so how do we do this? So we multiply 5x, 5 minus 3x all over 4 to 4. So makakansin yung 4. Matitira is 5 minus 3x. Okay? Less than 4 times 1 half. The answer is 4 divided by 2. The answer is 2. So you can now proceed. So negative 3x dito sa kabila. And you are going to transpose yung 5. Transposing 5, this is less than, will give you 2 minus 5. Okay po? So, th since this is negative 3x, so copy nyo lang yung negative 3x dyan, less than, and proceed. 2 minus 5, the answer is negative 3. So, to get the value of x, divide both sides by negative 3, okay? Or, you can have this, this anyway, this is the same. So, you multiply both sides by negative one-third. So, that is the same when dividing it with negative 3. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo makatipid ng space, ito na lang. You represent your answer using this. Okay? But in some books, you can see that. So, the, that is the same. So, divide this with negative 3. So, there, there is a property na kapag nagtidivide tayo ng negative sa inequality, you diba ito magiging x, you are going to ch change the inequality symbol. From less than, it is now x greater than 1. So, the values are x greater than 1. So, meaning to say, the values that are greater than 1, so hindi included yung 1. Hindi kagaya nito, na may equal sign, included yung Value. So, dito, the, those are the values that will satisfy the inequality are just the values of x which is greater than 1. Or, using the graph, okay, so this is negative infinity, so this is positive infinity. So, this is from 1, let's say this is 1, so your x must be greater than 1, so you are going to use this. Parenthesis, hindi bracket. Going to positive infinity kasi greater than. So, you need to dapat maintindihan mo kung ano yung pinapahanap ng inequality. Since greater than, then per, 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 sabihin, mas malaki sa 1. Since greater 1, the value is greater than 1. Papunta ka sa positive infinity. So, the letter retro. So, using the interval notation, that is the values from 1, so this is a parenthesis ang gagamitin, from 1 to positive infinity. So, ganun. Lagay mo na na ganyan. Yan. So, that is read as open interval from 1 to positive infinity. So, that this is uh, the way of solving uh, linear inequality. Okay? On the second part of my video lesson, I will be discussing about solving quadratic inequality. So please stay tuned ano, and uh, please uh, be reminded okay, by these three types of solution. So this is interval notation. This is using the graph. And this is the solution set wherein you can put a bracket here. Ganyan. Okay? So this is this can be an answer. Okay? So values of x greater than 1. So thank you so much. So for those uh, students na medyo nahihirapan sa math. So, uh, stay tuned po tayo sa ating mga students and I will be discussing quadratics sa ating next video. So, thank you so much guys and see you again.